History has been made. Meteorologist Liz Lightman from the Storm Prediction Center became the first woman to issue a convective watch at the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center on Wednesday. So this is something you've always wanted to do. You always wanted to be a meteorologist since you were since you were young, a child. Yes, yes, I've been obsessed with weather since I was a little girl. Um, and from about the time I was in middle school or high school, working for the National Weather Service and specifically the Storm Prediction Center is what I wanted to do. I am a mesoscale outlooker. And so my typical job duties include issuing our severe weather outlooks out through eight days. Um, and those are our hazard discussions that show the risk of severe thunderstorms, damaging winds, and tornadoes. Um, so that is one of my main duties. And another thing that I do are mesoscale convective discussions. And those are um, areas that we highlight um, before we issue a watch um, and talk about what we're expecting with severe thunderstorms over the next few hours, why a watch might be needed, um, those types of things. So I'm currently the, the only woman in the role of Ms. Scale Outlooker. Wow. I want you to take us through the day the watch was issued. What, what do you remember from that day? Well, I, I was pretty nervous. Um, I didn't sleep very well the night before. Uh, I knew that we were going to have severe weather um, on Wednesday. So, yeah, we had a risk area already in our outlook, and it was my first lead uh, training shift. And so I knew that it was possible that I'd get to issue my first watch on that day. Um, and so there was a bit of nerves going into mm -hmm. it, but once I got into the office, mm -hmm. um, I did our morning update to the outlook and then started digging into where I thought a watch would initially be needed. And once I kind of got into, you know, my normal routine, getting into the data, um, you know, I felt more comfortable. Is there anything you want to say to young females or even older females, because I believe it's never too late, who maybe have goals to set? I would say, you know, believe in yourself um, and you, you can do it. We are doing it. And whether your dream is doing something that's in the past been in a male dominated field, um, women are doing it and we're here and we will support you.